Hey guys, how's it going? Sweet Treats here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a graphics tutorial which I haven't done in a while. So, anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clean banner, like a nice looking one. So, I was just playing around and I ended up making like this right here. Um, I don't even know what I was doing, but I was just like playing around, and yeah, so what I'm going to do is change. Um, you can download this template, there'll be a link in the description to a video where I actually have the template. So just make it black, disable the bars, and what you want to do is get like some kind of texture. Let's use like this texture. Then from here you can make it a bit bigger. And then just duplicate it. To make it look nice. Just duplicate it. And once you have done that, you can just rasterize all the layers and merge them together to make that. Um, I can't even remember what I'm going to do now, but I'm pretty sure I'll just go with the flow, see what I can do. So if I just go, wait, wait to make that 100% again. I'm going to try something I've never done, so we just go color. Um, I'm going to be using a purple. I'm pretty sure I can overlay that. Yeah. To make it like kind of a purple texture, like that. Um, once you've done that, I think maybe you can render in rendering clouds. I think if you, yeah, clouds you can render in, and then that looks really nice. So something like that looks really cool. So once you've done that, you've got like a nice background texture. Just um, make another layer. Have like your color section. I'm just using purple as like a um, just like a demonstration thing. I don't know what happened to my brush. I've no idea why I can't see it. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, just making a new layer. Hold shift, uh, click hold shift, and then go to the other side, and it should make like a nice highlight. You can even do it up or not there. You can even do it like up here a bit if you want. I just lower the opacity a bit or you can make it a bit higher there now it's up to you now since um, I guess white looks good with purple you could say you can just make the bars if you want to use the bars white but I guess I'll just turn the bars off for now so now you kind of do the highlight it's up to you how you want to do it really so I'm just kind of demonstrating what you can actually do but once you've got a tiny little highlight there um, what you want to do is, what you have to do is just um get your pen tool. I don't have um grids on here, so I can't like see anything. But just um make a little, make like a line, and then make like a bar where you can put like information and stuff. Or maybe just not this way. I'll make it like right there. And then you can make it like break down or something. I don't know, however you want to do it, it's all up to you. I'm just going to make it something like that and then just join it up with the pen tool. Right click and go, or make a new layer first. Right click and go fill path and use black. And then you can just exit out of the pen tool. And then what you want to do is go um, drop shadow. Oh, go stroke, change that to about 2, go drop shadow, turn that up a fair bit, so you see a shadow there, then turn the fill down, then just leaves it like that, and you can turn the opacity down if you want, something like that. Once you've got that on the bottom, that looks pretty cool, you can duplicate that layer, and then you can just um, drag it up a bit, and once you've done that, um, what to do is uh, go free transform there, then go flip horizontal, and then you want to go flip vertical, and that'll make it like pretty much the other way if you understand what I'm doing here. And then you've kind of got where you can put your text there. Now once you've got that, um, I guess you can add some more highlights in just to make it look a bit better. Something like that. 
You can even add a picture behind it if you want. That's up to you. Make another layer and I'll just chuck that up the top. Like that. You can change your opacity like down a bit more too. I don't know, you got something like that going. It's really up to you how you want to do it, so don't just rely on me. Now I can just change that colour back to Sonic and then just add now you can add in your text. Um that's right name. And then you can change it. If you actually do want this, I'll put a link to download this, what I actually made in the description, and you can just change your name. Oh, what have I done? Wait. Let me just redo that. Sorry, that was my mistake. Oh, what's going on? Right, let me just fix this so my photoshop's like stuffing up one sec now since i fixed that you can have your name up here or down here which i'm just going to chuck it right there now you can kind of you can actually do this you can change it to overlay which you can kind of make it blend in and then just chuck like your stroke on you can make that white even that looks pretty cool or if you don't want to put it on overlay just add a gradient overlay like just a gradient on it and then you can get like your own gradients and change it to whoa and then change it to like whatever you like but I'm just gonna keep it like that and then you can change like gradients and whatever you have but for this I think I'll just chuck um I'll leave it on oh no I'll just leave the gradient on and then since you got these um like the bars on the side you can um like put your so like you can write your like social media in there like your facebook page or your youtube or your skype or whatever you want um so this is just a simple template so this will be for download in the description um but remember you can do this however you like so this wasn't that good i didn't it didn't turn out the best but i don't really care i don't mind it um so yeah, you can add a bit more effects like I will, or just add a drop shadow, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, and then you can, since we can chuck them bars back on, because they're kind of blending with the name, how it's white. So I'll just make the name stroke a bit bigger. Yeah, and then you can change that text if you want to download this. Anyway, guys. Um, and you can even add design by one and delete that file. So anyway guys, this has been the tutorial. Drop a like, um remember downloading is in the description. Um also if you do want to get um the banner dimension template, the template that I'm using, um the actual one where you can put your make your own banner, there'll be a video link to that in the description too. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, um and a comment. Please subscribe if you haven't and yeah, thanks for watching.